fighting out of the white corner is Barbara Aguiar, 25-year-old fighter from Brazil, 165 centimeters tall, this fight taking place at 51 kilograms. Her professional record, 30 fights, 22 wins, 6 losses, and 2 draws. And there you can see the queen of Thai fight, Pet Ji Jiao, Luk Jiao for Rong Tong. 18 years old, originally from Chomburi province in Thailand, 160 centimeters tall, with a professional record of 203 fights, 186 victories, 15 losses with two draws. She looks like she's got the haircut you were trying to get, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, she's got great hair. <laughs> no, it's great to see Petjija back on the Thai fight roster. I hope she stays. She did fight a few years back here at Thai fight. Did great, of course, knocked out her opponents. Then we didn't see her again until a couple of months back when we returned after COVID. And I'm hoping she stays. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to make an effort to keep her as part of the roster, which I, I so. couldn't be a bigger fan of. I think that she's an absolute star. I'm always singing her praises. I probably fanboy out a little bit too much <laughs> where she's concerned, but she's just a fascinating figure in Thailand. She's got a very interesting history if you haven't checked it out. I strongly recommend that you YouTube her. And she's just, you know, more than anything, she's just a fantastic fighter. Yeah, she was, uh, she grew up fighting boys, beating boys. I think there's a documentary or, or snippets on YouTube of the girl who fights boys. And she really made a name for herself growing up in Thailand competing against boys and winning them. Yeah, they couldn't find, basically she was so tough when she was a kid, we're talking like under 10. They couldn't find fights for her, so they just put her in the ring with boys, and she more than held her own. And then she, I believe, after a Thai fight, she decided to go into professional boxing, or at least amateur, should I say, amateur boxing. But I'm not sure what happened with that. Who cares, because she's now back here at Thai Fight, making a name for herself once again, and I really do think she can become an even bigger star than she was before. Yeah, you said it was rumored that she's got a really interesting fight lined up for the future as well. Yeah, there was talk. I'm not sure if it's come to fruition or yet. Uh, uh, taking on uh, Manfredi, who is the left-weight champion. It would be an incredible fight, and that would take place ne next month. That would be a real test. However, there is a test for her right here. In the black corner from Thailand, Pet Ji Ja, Luk Jao Purong Tom. And in the white corner from Brazil, Barbara Aguiar. The Barbara Aguiar trains out of Phuket Fight Club, which is a very renowned club here in, uh, in Thailand. They have some tremendous fighters, notably Julio Lobo. And, uh, yeah, he used Kajai. to fight here at Thai yeah, Fight quite a bit and sort of ascended. And, and Kajiva as well, who's a former WBC world champion. There's a very strong contingent of Brazilian fighters here in Thailand. There's three on the card tonight. Here we go, round one of our first and only female bout on and the card tonight. And the first of two glove fights, all the rest card check. Aguirre has fought on Super Chat before. And has won on Super Chat before as well, should be noted. Nice left hand there for Petri Cha. She looks comfortable in there, Adam. Barber with a reach advantage and a five centimeter height advantage as well. She'll probably want to employ that because Petty Jack can be awfully tough on the inside when she starts launching those elbows. Beautiful left shot there to the body from Petty Jack. Again, left and right combination coming in. Outside, outside kick there. Moving forward. Good foot movement from the Thai fighter. Decimated her last opponent in a comeback fight here at Thai Fight. Yeah, Stopping her in the first round. Shredded her with elbows, left her a bloody mess. Okay. Nice combination Dude. there from Pet Chicha. Changing levels, showing that boxing skill you alluded to. Nice right kick attempt back from the queer. Both fighters taking turns catching each other's kicks. 
Then Pejija initiating the clinch with the taller fighter. I don't know if that's a wise move. Outside kick from Pejija. Yeah, looking for that right hand. And again with that left body hook. She's caught her three or four times there for the body. Solid There's elbow. that elbow. Right hand there from Petri Jow with the top of the left glove. Oh, and again, look. that one knocked her off balance. Petri Jow moving in. She's looking for those elbows, those short arm salutes, as you like to call them, Adam. There's a little well under the eye of Petri Jow, the left eye. Another one two combination. Oh, beautiful stuff. Nice there's body that, shot. Yeah, there's that shot again. Oh, she caught it with an elbow there, Adam. Good shot there from Aguiashi, anticipating the movement from Petri Jow. She threw out that elbow and Petri Jow just walked straight into it. End of round one. Great first round. Nice competitive first round there from both fighters. Beautiful body shot, head shot combination there. Showcasing the boxing talent that Petchi Ja has. A nice body kick there as well. How would you score that first round, Eric? Well, I think Petchi Ja did edge it with the uh, amount of shots that she, she scored. But Some of those boxing combinations. Aguiar certainly not out of this, not by yeah, Aguiar, I was any stretch with her, of the I was impressed with her composure. You know, you're looking at an 18-year-old girl in Petri Jha that has 200 fights. And you're talking about Aguiar, 30 fights. That is a world of difference. For sure. Aguiar trying to use that tallness, using those lengthy knees to the body of Petri Jha. Looks comfortable in the clinch. I was impressed with her composure in the clinch in the first round as well there. And that's the... The issue that Petchi Jaj does move in too close to try and hit him with those elbows. Barbara can lift the knee up to the body of Petchi Jaj. The right elbow there from the tight fighter. And again, good clinch work from the Brazilian. Yeah, most of the elbows that Petchi Jaj is getting off her when she's closing the distance rather than when she's stuck inside the clinch with Aguiar. And a bit Petchi Jar is struggling with the range just a little bit. Aguiar a bit more aggressive in this round. She obviously knows she lost the first. I love those body shots. Using them almost as a jab. First strike in, shot to the body. A lot of fighters out there, they are tall, they are rangy, but they don't really know how to use it. And Aguiar's even though she lacks experience, he's using that length and that range to frustrate Petchi Jar. Nice outside kick there from Petchi Jar. There's that shot again. Aguiaris took a lot of punishment to those body, but she looks okay, she's looking strong. No deep breaths yet from the Brazilian that I've noticed. Good outside kick. Chopping down the tree. Yeah, just constant pressure from Petji Job. Trying to crack the composure of Aguiar, but it hasn't happened yet. The Brazilian fighter really has been so cool, calm, and collected throughout these first two rounds. The corner of Aguiar is screaming it to move forward instead of moving back. Again, there's that ripping shot. And again, he's finding a hole every time for that shot. See that? You can see the leg difference. Catching the kick, but cannot connect from the outside. End of the second round.
the highlights from inside the clinch. The Jija battling the taller Aguiar. Nice right hand there from the Brazilian fighter. Bank with an overhand right in round three we go. It's been a very competitive fight. I do think that Chicha has edged both rounds. I go along with that. But no shame in what Aguiar has been able to do so far against Beautiful a very technique. tough, experienced opponent in Penchicha. Ripping a left to the body, then a left to the head, and then yeah, a right elbow. Some Beautiful. of her boxing techniques, combinations are, are really advanced stuff. Also, shout out to uh, Leo, the head trainer at Phuket Fight Club. He's doing wonders with these Brazilian fighters out of Aguiar, Lobo, Pajiva. Impressive stuff over at Phuket Fight Club. Another good left shot to the body there. Right hand from Pechi Ja. Tries the referee's leg, that goes, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, so far catching the kick hasn't worked too well for her. Distance has been too far for her to land effective strikes. Little left knee there from Pechija. Going to the body, the first time I've seen Aguiar Grimace. Corner of Aguiar screaming at to move forward. Well, I don't mean to be too much of a defeatist for her, but I feel like she's been pretty elegant moving backwards. <laughs> she's done all right for herself. I mean, obviously, that's as a corner man, you don't you don't say that. Hey, you've been doing all right out there. But it's tough to move forward against Petita. She's a bulldog. Really searching for those body strikes. No, this will be a real good life experience for Aguiar. Fighting it, one of the best female fighters around. Looking like she's going to go the distance with it. She's going to learn so much from this experience. Yeah, I think so as well. Surely a big confidence booster. Still moving forward. And again, digging with that left hook to the body. I love that. Petri Char. I mean, she's taking what the fight is giving her. She's been unable to really connect on those devastating elbows we saw her use last time. I feel like a lot of the male fighters would take note of Petri Char's boxing abilities. End of the third and final round will go to the judges for a decision. มาแล้วครับเอาแล้วครับต่างคนต่างยกมือนะฮะดูซิว่าใครจะชนะนะครับมันแม่คนนี้ถ้ามันขอเสียงหน่อยเร็วสุดยอดแม้แต่มวยหญิงของเรานะแต่ใครไปก็มันนะฮะไม่แพ้กับมวยไทยเลยทายเลยนะฮะถูกต้องนะครับมุมขาวหรือมุมดําดีครับทุกคนขาวหรือดำเอ้าขาวบ้างเอ้าดำบ้างมาประกาศผลดีกว่าโอ้โหและเดอะวินเนอร์ขอแสดงความยินดีด้วยนะครับกับผู้ชนะแล้วก็เป็นกำลังใจให้กับผู้ที่แพ้ไปในวันนี้เก่งทั้งคู่จริงๆนะฮะ